The South Carolina Fire Academy is a 200 plus acre campus with five regional offices. This is the location where recruits undergo an eight weeks training program of classroom hands-on firefighting skills development and how to effectively serve their community. Everybody needs help at some point. I mean, you always say it's not going to be me, but that day comes and then you want somebody to be there. And if nobody decides to step into that place, then who's going to help you when you do need that call? And that's what we're here for. We're, help, we're here for basically to help you on your, your worst day. I mean, it's your worst day of your life, nine times out of ten if you're calling us. According to the South Carolina Fire Academy, there are 19,491 total South Carolina firefighters and 71% of those are volunteers. I originally started my say, public safety career as a volunteer for New Ellington Fire Department. Um, when I moved, I transitioned to Langley. So I'm with Langley Fire Department right now as a volunteer. Um, so I've, I've always had a, a want to help people. The training is offered quarterly at the Fire Academy and includes emergency responder first aid training, hazardous materials operations training, live fire training, and much, much more. This is going to be their first encounter with live fire today. So basically we want to make sure that they get the basic understanding is understanding of how uh, the fire string operates and where they're directing it at at the fire. We'll be going over indirect, direct combination, and also as well we'll be doing a vehicle fire later on to get those basic principles down of how to approach them. During the training, the safety of all people within close proximity is strictly enforced. And should you need to cross this yellow line, you must wear a helmet and eyewear protection for your safety. Through training, there are some challenges that arise from the fire. Hardest part, uh, your body's wanting to tell you to stop, but you have to be mentally saying, hey, just keep going. Because once you stop, it's over. I mean, it's that could be someone's life or your partner's life or your life. So you just have to be mentally going, hey, my body's tired, I, but I got to get this job done. I mean, it's got to get done. If you've ever had the idea um, of probably doing public service, give it a shot. I mean, you, I mean it's not for everybody, but um, you never know until you try. Um, that, that was what I was told when I had the doubts at it at first. They're like, hey, you know, give it a shot. And as soon as I did, I was like, man, I love this. This is, this is great. You know, I love helping people and going out. I mean, there's times it's tough waking up at two or three o'clock, but hey, well, I mean, you, you, that, that tone drops. It's, it's time to do work. I mean, so it, it's, it's rewarding in the end. This year's recruit graduation is Thursday, May the 9th. Reporting for the Aiken Standard, I'm Michelle A. Jackson.